Hello everybody. I want to show you uh, something that uh, I've been looking at recently that uh, you might have heard me talk about on some of the calls or you might have ta heard me talk about uh, on, uh, on the radio show. But um, one of the ways in which uh, I've really uh, kind of maximized some of my productivity as well as to get a handle on uh, the information overload that I know um, we're all kind of suffering from to some degree um, is to use something that's you know been out there that I'm sure you you've seen um, called the Google Reader and I'm going to show you how I use it and uh, there's nothing complicated about it um, I'm going to go ahead and click into my Google Reader uh, and then you'll notice here now if, if you wanted to find uh, Google Reader uh, for yourself um, it's pre pretty simple I'm going to sign out of mine just so you'll be able to see where you find it. And uh, if you had any trouble finding it, you just go to Google, all right? Because it's a, it's a Google service, and then go to Reader. Now, you know the Reader is free, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, you know, I just type in Reader, and there, right at the top, of course, uh, Google would put its um, its listing there first. Google Reader. I'm going to click in there. Um, I'm going to put in a uh, a, a name and email address and then what it does is it opens up to my Google Reader and so what you'll see here is you'll see that I'm sort of able to scroll through different stories that are directly uh, related to some things that I'm interested in for instance here's uh, an article there on uh, search marketing and e-consultancy um, there's some information there on um, on uh, Verizon and AT&T uh, specifically uh, regarding the uh, uh, the tech industry and what's going on with uh, cell phones and mobile I like to keep up with that and uh, you'll see I, all I'm doing I'm just scrolling through the stories deciding which one I'm gonna read and, uh, um, and and I'll show you how I was able to get these stories here's something that's kinda interesting from Advertising Age magazine about brands on Twitter um, 86 percent 76% of the accounts are infrequent user that would be relevant to me as a uh, as a uh, as, as a marketer so <clears throat> here's what happens let's say that I, I go out to a particular uh, uh, blog and uh, one that I like to read I know is uh, Dave uh, is uh, Bruce Clay I think I'm pretty sure he's in my RS reader but I'm going to show you how you know I kind of deal with this or how I kind of work with this and let's go to the front page of uh, Bruce Clay's blog there. Okay, and you'll see here that it says uh, uh, Bruce Clay Incorporated has got his blog here. And um, one thing that I that, that I tend to do is is I don't like um, having a lot of people send me uh, email, especially uh, their newsletters. Now you know I know I'm different from 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 other people. But uh, the way I like to read uh, the news in particular, because typically, um, you know, you're, you're, you're probably getting an, an additional marketing message along with the news, and, and you don't want to you don't want to bother with that. Um, what you want to do is to be able to get uh, the content and the information that's going to be helpful to you. So here's what I do: I come to a page like like BruceClay.com, and what I'll be looking for is this orange symbol, that's the RSS symbol or you know one that looks like this typically you're talking about an area where there's an RSS feed and what I'll do is I'll click on uh, the link there for the RSS okay and you'll notice that it'll go straight to my Google Reader um, sometimes I might have to go to an inter inter uh, intermediate step and it says okay I'm not subscribed to Bruce Clay's blog so uh, it'll give you some information about how often he's posting okay and I do like to read the blog so it might make sense for me to go ahead and subscribe now when I subscribe this doesn't come to my email box what it does is it comes to my Google Reader and I have the opportunity to decide whether or not I'm gonna read it some of the articles I'll just scroll through so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna subscribe to Bruce's blog then you will notice I've got about 395 uh, items out there now when I sit down and read the news I can just decide what I want to read and you'll see I'm just kinda of scrolling through some of the stories uh, getting a sense for is it something I want to read, is it something I want to let go 
and then uh, you know everything in my Google Reader is something that I thought was interesting that I want to keep getting updates to so every time Bruce Clay updates his blog I'd like to be able to get a notice to find out what he's saying so then I can read um, the article and then you know act accordingly so I have some uh, some RSS uh, 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 items go coming from a, a magazine called All Danes Digital um, instead of going to the Wall Street Journal website I have a couple of sections of the Wall Street Journal that I like to read so I have that coming straight to my RSS reader and so what that does is then that allows you uh, pretty much to focus on some of the things you're, you're watching and listening to as well as being able to be more productive. That doesn't mean that you, uh, you, you, know, you skip everything else, but just when you're in the midst of uh, work and trying to get things done, it helps to keep your mind focused on the things that are relevant to your success in internet marketing or whatever it is that you're doing. So that's pretty much how I use the Google Reader. I'll go to a site and what I'll be looking for is I'll be looking for uh, the, the orange button that says RSS then I'll click to subscribe and then it'll go over to my Google Reader and pretty much give me the option of getting all of the updates that might come about um, in that uh, in that particular channel so uh, so again or sometimes the uh, RSS is up in the toolbox but whatever you need you want to make sure that you know it, when, when you have all the information out there that you're getting updates from not just the news but you're getting updates from the places you find reputable that you find uh, uh, interesting that you find uh, helps you to grow your business okay so with that uh, I'd like to uh, thank you and uh, talk to you soon